Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Twin Talks on Horrible Subs. And uh, Happy New Year's! Yeah, Happy New Year's. Welcome back, and one thing we're going to talk about is a series that we finally were able to get to during our winter break, and that's Black and Doom. And I'm going to tell you, that's one hell of a show, and it's a fun ass show to be watching. All 24 episodes, and I don't think I was bored for a single one, so... We passed through every single one of them, right? Pretty much. Within within a week, got through 24. Yeah. And I gotta say, it's a, it's a really entertaining take. You know, you know, you got your action, you've got all that good good stuff, right? Yeah. Good action, Hollywood, guns, martial arts. But it's also pretty interesting to see the concept of um, criminal, or more like the, the mind of a criminal. And how far does it take before you become what really warrants the yeah. idea of what makes you a deviant from society? Yeah. And what are these certain requirements, or not necessarily requirements, but prerequisites? Circumstances in your life that cause you to become a criminal. And, um, yeah, for me, the, the most gripping arc during the entire series was the Bloodsport fairy tale. And just to catch you up, or if you haven't seen it, it's it's spoilers here. There's basically these Romanian twins that are assassins that are pretty much running around Romanapora and screwing things up, killing all these different members of different criminal factions. And now everyone has a bounty on their head. And it was just, for me, it was really bad. And when you finally got to see their past, oh, it's, it's brutal. It's pretty brutal. Pretty much just orphans abandoned by their parents. I head to a state-sponsored orphanage only to get abused, so it's sold off and then abused, right? Yeah. You know, being in the normal thing, being in the kitty porno, the, the very, the, the KP no one likes. Oh god. But, um, yeah, that's one thing. The main protagonist of the series, Rock, uh, he's really interesting to actually see, and his conflict with having to deal with morality, how far is he gonna have to go down this world? How, basically, how dirty is his hands gonna have to be for to exist in this world? Because he chose it, but at the same time, it seems like it was a choice that he made on the fly, or more of just because he wanted to get the hell out of there. Other than inherent his nature, he would have chose no matter what. But I, he's trying to give himself like how far he wants to go himself, because he doesn't know. I think he understands deep down what exactly he is. A there has to be a reason. He's okay with seeing people die yeah. on a daily basis. Right? Yeah. And actually, um, it said it himself, he, he, he called himself out and he said, there must be something wrong with me in order for me to be around you guys. Yeah, he says that he recognizes that at least that much. And he's also talking about it. He, he was trying to understand himself and the series he started doing. Maybe because it's just, I was getting bored of my old life. Yeah. And I was getting bored of the fact that it's just the same thing every day and I can make the choices I want. So he wanted the freedom to make his own choice. Even if it ended up, even if it meant that he's gonna end up dead in the ditch. Yeah. He wanted to make that choice. It was one of those ideas of freedom versus security. How much will you give up? Yeah. The choices. Yeah. Pretty much. And I've gotta say too, um, Levy, dude, badass. <laughs> that's that's first thing you see here. Yeah, badass. Motorbike yeah. killer on all first professional gunslinger. Yeah, in, a gunslinger in the West, but the Western Indies. <laughs> that island, I mean. Yeah. Okay, West, no, West Indies. I mean Caribbean. Oh shit! Oh, you know. What is it? It's Southeast Asia. Okay, Southeast Asia. And the entire the entire crew of um, Lagoon Company, I, I really enjoyed. All of them had their own distinct personalities that you can really call. Benny. Yeah, Benny. He was pretty much. He. I just love the fact that one of his lines just says, "I'm a Jew." Like he's just a Jew. Yeah. All the conversations. It's just it's like that's just normal talking. You know? Yeah. And what's really cool is. You see later on you have characters that come in and out, and sure they may not send, they might, there might not be this overarching narrative as usual, but just I think it works better because it's not like a, it makes more sense as a criminal. You're not really aiming for anything too high. You're just yeah. trying to live day by day. It makes yeah. sense that I'm a criminal. No criminal is actually like I'm gonna rob the big bang. <laughs> not a normal one at least, right? Yeah. But like a typical one was just trying to live, live day by day. That makes sense for these sorts of little vignettes just going, yeah. pr proceeding along as it should. Yeah. If they didn't announce a Black Week in Season 3, would you watch it? I don't seen? know if it's the... Because the closest we have to a Season 3 is the OVA, which yeah. is Roberto's yeah. closest. Yeah. I haven't seen that yet. I don't know how it is. But from, from, from what I saw, after that, Roberto's Blood Trail is just a continuation. So there's, there's just another arc in the manga. It's another arc in the manga. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, I mean, it's been 11 years, so it's been... 
quite some time now. Yeah, so I don't know. No, I, I also have this current state of anime as well, where everything's kind of less, gotten, I would say, less gritty, or if the edge comes, oh, well, never mind. There is still, recently, Devil My Cry Baby just showing <laughs> blood and guts everywhere, so. There is still a market for blood, but I just don't know the exact particular way Black Lagoon does it. It'll yeah. Gun away. There's a lot of people that are relating to magic now and stuff like that. And I don't know if it'll survive in this current market. I'd probably not, but yeah. So, pretty much, if the only thing you're gonna take care of it, you wanna take away from this is watch Black Lagoon. It's really, really cool. <laughs> really interesting. It keeps you it, it, at least. Yeah, it, at the very least. Yeah, it keeps you entertained. So it, it's like it doesn't necessarily have to. If it doesn't stroke your brain at all, you know, it's, it's not like these type of. Uh, it's not like these argument was very hard to get. I got it. You know, it's very pretty much out there. Yeah. The characters talk to each other about this, but you know what? It's entertaining at least. I'll say that. All right. Sorry about that. Phone just started vibrating. But yeah, pretty much, it's a fun watch. Nothing too hard, nothing too complex going on, so it's nice, nice fun. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, subscribe if you want some more content like this, and uh, see you guys in the next one.